Saving is one of the most important things you'll do in the life of your workbooks. Anyone who's ever lost essential data because their computer crashed can tell you, once you've had that happen, you never forget the best advice I can give you. Save early and often. For the first time save, you can choose Save from the File tab, click the Save button on the Quick Access Toolbar, or press Control S. I'll start with the File tab Save command. Because the file has no name or location yet, you need to tell Excel what you want to call it and where you want to store it. Excel shows you a list of the last locations you saved to, and if one of them is fine, select it and then enter a name for the workbook and click the Save button. But what if it's not? Depending on your situation, you may need to save to a network drive, a portable flash or thumb drive, or perhaps to OneDrive through Microsoft. In any case, if the last place you saved isn't where you want to save the current workbook, click the More Options link or click Browse to get the traditional Save As dialog box. From here, you can save to any place your computer has access to via the web, a network, or within its own hard drive. By default, the workbook will be saved as an Excel workbook in the .xlsx format. You can simply type a name for the file and then choose where to save it using the list of locations on the left. Now that the file is saved, I've named it Inventory List, and we see that on the title bar. Let's talk about saving alternative versions of your workbook, and then I'll share a tip for saving your workbook as you continue building it. From the File tab, I'll choose Save As, and I can give the file a new name to create a new version of the workbook and save it to the same or a different folder than the original. In the Save As dialog box, I'll rename the workbook New Inventory List so I can use it for a new product line. When I save, the original will close and this new version will remain open for me to begin editing it. Before I click Save though, let's look at the Save As Type drop list. From this list, you can choose another format for the workbook file. For example, you can choose to save as a CSV file which stands for comma separated value. This turns any list, like a list of customers or students or an inventory list of your products, and turns it into data that you can import into Microsoft Access or any other database application. You can also save your workbook as a template if you'd like to use it as a starter for similar workbooks in the future. Another option, save the workbook as a PDF, which creates a document from your workbook its worksheets spread out over as many pages as needed to include all of the content. In this case, I'm just saving the file as a standard Excel workbook with the XLSX extension, and I'm clicking Save so that I can either keep working, notice the new file name is updated on the title bar, or I can close it and know it'll be ready for me whenever I need it, appearing on the File tab at the top of the list of available workbooks. I'll wrap up with a tip. I always suggest using Control S to do your ongoing saves while working on your Excel workbooks, the ones you've already saved once, but that you want to keep saving as you work. Why do I suggest the keyboard shortcut? Because human nature. You're going to be working along and the thought will occur to you that you haven't saved in a while, but if you're on a roll, you'll keep putting it off so you don't have to stop and click a button or go to the file tab. If you just remember to press Control S whenever it occurs to you that you haven't saved, you can do that without losing your momentum and just keep working. Your latest efforts safely saved with the file.